scripture says, your God will do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can think of or imagine. I don't know what you're thinking about and I don't know how far your imagination can reach, but I need you to know that whatever you can imagine, he's ready to go beyond it. Whatever, whatever you can think of, he's willing and ready to go beyond your thinking. So there is a demand on you to stretch your thinking and to stretch your imagination. You can only do that by understanding the word of God. You need to be positioned in the word of God to have the right thinking and have the right imagination. As I take my seat. Now in crossing that line, there are a few things I need to tell you. One, you've got to make a choice. I want to encourage somebody to make that choice this week. You've got to make a choice. And then the second thing you need to do is that you've got to commit to go beyond expectations in whichever way you can. Because there are ex expectations that people have put on you which brings a limit to you. And you've got to cross that line, that imaginary line that keeps you from performing. This is that week in which you've got to cross that line. And let me tell you, I want to share five things with you. Five quick things I want to mention to you so that you would be able to cross that line. Like I said, you've got to make a choice. And you've got to understand that you have options. You have options. Don't just sit and think it's only one way that God is going to come through. No, God is not going to come through one way to prosper you or bless you. That is why you've got to make a choice. You have options. If you look carefully, you will realize that maybe you thought you had just one choice, option, but the truth is you have many, many options. Opportunity, they say, comes but once. But I want to let you know that opportunity does not come but once. Opportunity will keep coming until you are able to use effectively your opportunity. So open yourself up for your opportunity. Make the right choice in this week and you will cross that line. The next thing I want you to take note is that you need to commit to go beyond whatever expectations it is that you do or aim to achieve. Whatever expectations that you have, whatever expectations you aim to achieve, you need to commit to go beyond it. That is how you cross that line. You've got to go beyond yourself. Reach out to your own depths and come out and give it all it takes. You can do it. The second thing is that you've got, to, you've got to go past your experiences, your past experiences. The enemy can easily use your past experiences to hold you back or draw you back. You've got to go beyond, go past all your past experiences. Can I tell you something? Your experience is not who you are. Your experience is what you have just gone through. And don't mistake your identity for your experience. Your identity is who God says you are and who God has made you to be. So go past all your experiences and understand that you have what it takes. The next point I have for you is that there is a world of opportunity waiting to embrace you. In case you do not know, there is a world of opportunities out there waiting to embrace you. The next thing I want you to take note is that keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. I believe this is my fifth point. Keep hope alive. You've got to do everything to keep hope alive. Have that mental picture. That is why I touched on your imagination. He will do exceedingly abundantly above all that you can think of or imagine. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Understand, there is no better time to live than now. Keep hope alive. It's going to work out well. I've come to tell you in this week that it's going to work out well. You've got to cross that line. Know that there is enough grace for you. Seize this moment and cross that line. That imaginary line. That financial imaginary line. That you've believed a lie. That in your family, nobody can prosper beyond a certain limit. I've come to tell you that keep hope alive. You can cross that line. 
that imaginary line that tells you that hey nobody is able to attain any height of education in your family keep hope alive you can yes you can I've come to tell you that yes you can you can you can cross that line cross that line the Lord grant you the grace so you seize this moment to cross that line I want you to know that I am praying for you and I believe in you I believe in your cause and the Lord is with you. Shalom.